Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. Um, we're getting down to the last of the Christmas soaps, and this one is going to be my Sugar Plum Fairy, uh, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so our colors are Grape Ape, Tickled Pink, and Key West Blue. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I've got some TD in this base color, okay? Um, and then we're going to pour it off in this three separate ones. And then the reason, I'm, I'm probably going to hand stir the fragrance because I feel like it does accelerate a little bit. And I kind of want to make it like a drop swirl like I did the peppermint one and the blue snowflake one. So that's kind of what we're going to hope for. Um, so let's get started. TD in the base should really lighten up those colors. And since Sugar Plum Fairy is kind of a yellowing fragrance, you have to have a really bright purple. Um, so that's why I'm using like neon and the pink and the purple um, so that it won't like yellow it too much. Okay, before I blend that too much, I do want to blend the colors and then I just kind of want to like hand stir the fragrance, I think. Okay, so this white is also going to accelerate. Not accelerate, it just kind of thickens the batter a little bit sometimes. Kind of speeds speeds things along. I guess that is accelerating, but whatever. We're gonna pour them all in here, and then we're gonna blend up the colors, and then we're gonna do probably just like a drop swirl. Now, what we gotta do is blend the colors so that they can be good, and the purple. Is a nice neon purple, so hopefully it won't have a problem. Now, I'm gonna start with the pink. Move on to I'm gonna move on to like the purple one next, and then we'll do the blue. It might get a little purpley. Okay, so look how pretty that is. All the colors like blended together. Okay, so now the fragrance is the tricky part. So let's just go ahead and put it in each one and kind of hand stir a little bit. See if that helps helps the process. It smells good. It smells so good. I, I really wanted like lighter colors, but unfortunately with that yellowing that it does, just a slight yellowing. You really can't do like a lighter color with the purple because it will like yellow and purple cancel each other out on the color wheel and it turns gray so we can't do that and i'm going to put this in here just go ahead and blend up the blue and i think we'll be good to go it, it might like decelerate a little but then i i feel like from memory because i only ever make this around christmas time sort of it kind of decelerates and then starts re-accelerating afterwards. So I do think it gets kind of thick and chunky. So the best thing I could do would be like an in-the-pot swirl. I should do that, but I also don't think that blue is going to be blue enough. Because um, just by looking at it, it's looking a little gray here. Um, oh my goodness. So we're just going to go ahead and do some drop swirls. All right, we're going to start with the purple. We'll put a little purple in there. And then I guess I'll do some blue. Just do like a couple of passes. Um, because we're not going to have like a lot of time. I know it is going to start moving here in a minute. Um, and then we'll do the pink. And then basically what we're going to do is just cover it in a little I don't know I don't know yet I haven't decided at the top <laughs> isn't that crazy I haven't decided the top and I'm literally making it so just do a couple of passes hopefully that blue will be brightened up with the other colors being so close to it like that and I'm gonna start trying to do thinner drops here try to get more of them because I really like the way that that looked when I did the drop swirls before. So, and it's it's behaving good. It's not um, 
It's not moving too quick. I really like that color. Look at that like 80s, <laughs> 80s sort of neon look that it's got right now. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Just do the middle and then do some more pink in the middle. Um, because we got like a lot of color here. Okay. Let me just spritz this a little bit. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to spritz it because I always spritz it in and I always mess it up. Now, what I'm going to do is try to actually do like a little bit of a swirl. And then, depending on what I decided um, afterwards, we'll kind of determine whether or not we put any embeds on the top. So, if I don't put any embeds on the top, I want it to have a pretty good swirl or look on the top. So I'm going to do like a silver, sort of a silvery, um, glittery mica line, I think. Now this is a glitter, not a mica. I don't know if I have a mica that I could use. I guess I could have just used like a white. Um, I don't know. Let's just try to do it like this. I need them um, to get the droppers. And I'm going to just do like a streak down the edge here. And then we'll kind of try to see if we can't get it to work. Um, it's thickening up very nicely. Okay, so I'm going to try to start from the top. And I'm going to go like this. This is not, no, okay. <laughs> Why do I always struggle with this? I don't know. Maybe I should just do like a back and forth because I can't remember. I don't know why. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, we'll just do kind of like a back and forth. And see, see how that looks. Because it's just really, it's a lot brighter than I imagine like a sugar plum fairy would be. But, as I said, you don't really have a lot of options. Because that yellowing fragrance oil, you kind of have to combat that with some really bright colors. Okay. And that's beautiful and that's perfect and I'm going to leave it like it is and I'm not, I actually don't even think I'm going to do anything else to it. If I don't, this is where we leave and I will see you guys tomorrow to cut it and see the inside. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut this sugar plum fairy and I want you guys to see, I don't know if you can see this very well, but that blue on the top has turned completely green and... Honestly, I think it looks really cute. I know the inside's not green. The inside's still blue because I can see it on the edge. But I almost wish it was green. I think next year when I make Sugar Plum Fairy, I'm going to make it green instead of blue to begin with. I don't know. Just something about that pink and, pink and green. It's like a super cute, kind of minty, softy mint look almost. Like a mint green. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this. It's a little rough around the edges, but I don't want to... I don't... It's okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Can you guys see okay? I think you're good. I think we're just going to go for it because it doesn't have any embeds, so it can be whatever. I hope the purple didn't do anything. The purple is a little grayed out on the top, but honestly, that's probably just soda ash. I think it will be fine. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What do you guys think? I'm really loving that drop swirl that I'm doing. Look at that. That is so nice. Let me just see if you guys can like... It's whited out a little bit because of the... um. The lights. The lights are not working. But look at those drop swirls. I really like that drop swirl technique. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of those in the future. And it's super simple and super pretty. But look at the difference. Look at the difference of the inside. Let's see if I can fit. I don't even know. Okay. Like 
it doesn't translate on camera, but like it's really different because that soda ash really made everything grayed out and it did do the green. But man, what do you guys think? I love it. I think it's so cute. Let me know what you think. If you like that drop swirl, this is like what the third time I've done that. And I think I'm going to do that in the future. Uh, and other than that, you guys, by the time you see this video, all of the Christmas soaps, including this delicious, sweet, candied, sugar plum fairy soap that I have here, will be completely ready. So feel free to go on and buy. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Look at that sparkly. So pretty. Merry Christmas. Bye.